Hello, we're back. In episode 16, I said we'd be talking about the Invader port to multiple handhelds using Microsoft Code Arcade, a visual block-based programming language that runs in a web page. So here is the home page for Make Code Arcade. You can see some of my projects right here. And there's plenty of tutorials and demos to play with. And down here, you can see a list of devices that your MakeCode Arcade apps can run on. Here's what my Invader code looks like in MakeCode Arcade with blocks. And you can easily switch to JavaScript or Python with the click of a button. Here's another demo that I created that might look a little familiar to you. And this is all the code that was necessary. So another cool thing about MakeCode Arcade is that you don't even need one of these previously mentioned devices in order to use it, as it will emulate the target device right here in a web page. You can also run this in full screen mode. Or take a snapshot which would get saved on your desktop and then you can share it with other people as all they have to do is take that image and drop it into make Code arcade in order to open it up and run it or edit the code themselves. And here we can see it running on four different devices. From left to right, top to bottom, the Pi Gamer, the Xtron Pro, the Pi Badge, and the Brain Pad. I also wanted to share with you a couple of videos put together by Adafruit for the Pi Gamer and the Pi Badge. And I'm going to leave a link to a video that's very interesting to me about a woman in Japan that started coding games at 81. I'll leave links to these in the description. I also wanted to show you something else that I will try to port Invader to, a calculator that can be programmed in Python. I'm not sure if it can be done, but I'm looking into it. So that about wraps up episode 17 of my journey in game programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions that you may have that could make these a better experience. Next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader to PC and Linux using the Love Game Engine in Lua, a free open source 2D framework. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.